season is coming. <laughs> it's your time to shine. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's so weird, Benji. I'm not actually using the bathroom right now, you guys. Like, I'm sitting on top of a closed toilet, but he only wants to, like, sit on my lap and cuddle with me. Sometimes he does when I'm laying down in bed, but most of the time it's when I'm sitting on the toilet. Is that not the weirdest thing ever? Like, he gets so excited to, like, sit on my lap while I'm using the toilet. It's the weirdest thing. You love mama? He's such a snuggle bug. You're such a big boy. Somebody else wants to say good morning. Good morning. Can we say good morning to them? Good morning, guys. She's getting so big, you guys. Holy guacamole. I love you. Oh, that's nice. Anyways, um, hi, welcome back to my channel, Fresh Out of Bed, as you can tell. I desperately need to redo my self-tanner today, you guys. Later tonight, I'm going to exfoliate it all off, but I wanted to vlog today, and just the schedule didn't work out, and self-tanning is, like, I love it. It's great for your skin, you know, you don't have to worry about sun damage or whatever. It is definitely a lot of work. You have to do it once a week. However, my cats are playing in the shower curtain. <laughs> it's definitely a lot harder in the summer, like... I just don't lay out in the sun as much as I used to and um, so I just self tan all year round it's just become a habit of mine it's like a routine of mine every week but you sweat so much more in the summer and while I work out I sweat a lot so you start to get these really great lines but this is um two weeks old so I tan one week and then after another week I put on another layer and then after that week I exfoliate it off so I only exfoliate my whole tan off every two weeks so after the two week mark I start to get these really great diamonds on my inner elbows you guys good anyways yeah I get these really great diamonds I start to get patchiness on my neck my hands fade because I've also been washing my hands a lot more than normal but I do it every single weekend and that's when I'm filming this on the weekend so you guys get this greatness today not that it really freaking matters but I wanted to address it because if you guys are watching this and you're like yo her tan looks so messed up I know <laughs> anyways I wanted to talk a little bit about some skincare I get a lot of questions on my skincare routine my skin has just been really nice and clear Again, I need to redo my tan, so don't mind the patchiness of my color, but my skin is really clear. My texture has kind of gone down a little bit, and it's really, really hydrated. I have very dry skin. So these products that I've been trying out for the last few weeks are from this really amazing vegan, cruelty-free skincare and beauty line. It's called Dime Beauty, and they actually partnered with me on today's video, which I'm really excited about because, like I said, I've been trying it out for the last few weeks, and I feel like my skin has been looking just so amazing. It's nice and clear, nice and smooth, nice and hydrated, so I genuinely really love these products, and not even just how they perform but if you guys know me you know I am a sucker for packaging and this black and gold and white oh my god it is so sleek it looks so pretty on my dresser like compared to my other products that I own they're like blue and you know pink whatever the packaging is I love this packaging it can go on your like bathroom vanity it can go on your night side tables that you have them right there when you're ready to go to bed they're just really really pretty really nice quality they've got the pumps I don't know I just I'm a sucker for packaging and I think this is so sleek and pretty their products are clean luxury and sustainable at affordable prices and I actually have a discount code for you guys it's rose 20 you'll get 20% off your order and on their bundles you get an extra 20% off because they're already 20% off now not 40%, but you get their 20% and then my 20% on top of it. So you're definitely getting a really good discount. So I will have that link down below for you guys. So this first product that I've been loving is their Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And I've used serums before and I wasn't like a totally big fan. I don't feel like it made a big difference, but I love this one. It boosts your skin's bounce. It gives you hydration and it plumps your skin's appearance. And a little bit goes a long way. So you unscrew it. It's got a little dropper. I literally use like one and a half drops. That's it. So I just put one and then a little bit more. That was probably about too full, but you honestly don't even need that much. You're not going to really be able to tell on camera, but it just like soaks into the skin it is so hydrating and my skin is so beyond dry so i need any hydration i can get i also go in with their dewy day cream this replenishes the skin it helps promote new collagen it plumps and firms the skin and the packaging is really awesome it's got a pump so it's super clean you're not like digging your hands into like a container of moisturizer you know so not only are you moisturizing your skin but you're also firming and plumping your skin as well so you're 
you're getting a lot of benefits in this day cream. I've also been using their restorative night cream. I'm not gonna put this on right now, obviously, but this does increase your moisture as well. It also helps your skin appear brighter. It also helps to reduce the look of fine line wrinkles and pores so you can wake up glowing, smooth, looking fresh. And I feel like I'm definitely seeing the benefits of that. You guys saw my skin before I even did my morning skincare and I put this night cream on every night and I feel like I've been waking up a little bit brighter and more moisturized. So yeah, you guys, I've been really enjoying it. Also a bonus, I've also been using their mascara. Again, very pretty packaging. And I'm gonna do a little mini, very easy, simple makeup today. So I'll show you guys how the mascara looks when I do that. So if you guys are interested in trying out Dime Beauty, I highly recommend, I've really been loving it. Their products are definitely in high demand though and they sell out quickly. So I would hop on this offer if you wanna try them out. You can use my code ROSE20 to get 20% off their entire store. And also if you purchase one of their bundles, you get another 20% off after their already 20% off discount. This is definitely great savings on products that are already affordable and really, really great quality. So you don't wanna miss out. They sell out very quickly. So use code ROSE20. I will have the link down below. Enjoy. I know it's kind of weird that I'm sitting on my toilet, but it's like the best angle, natural lighting, you know? <laughs> Nothing has really changed that much. I've done my makeup the same for such a long time. Today, I'm just gonna go a little bit easier and quicker than normal, but for the most part, you guys probably already know what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna go through it quickly. I used the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil in the shade Neutral Brown. And I did get um, eyebrow microblading a long time ago and it's still like kind of there. Like I got it years and years ago when I had dark hair. <laughs> so it kind of gives me a quick guideline to just really quickly fill them in. I do not go crazy, like literally just a quick little fill in. Cats? Oh, baby, stuck, that's why. Your cool stuff? Leave the shower curtain alone. <laughs> Leave Brittany alone. And then I go through with the little spoolie and I just brush through them so that they look like more natural, you know? And that's it, I never spend a lot of time on my eyebrows. I'm just not here for that, so. And then for my face, I'm just gonna do a little bit of my recent favorite full coverage moisturizer by IT Cosmetics. It has got it all, it's got a 50 SPF. I pump it onto my beauty blender and we blend her in. It just kind of covers the little bit of redness that I have and discoloration especially because I need to redo my tan. I've got some blotchiness, so I'm just gonna give myself like an even face. I feel like this moisturizer, like no matter if my tan is faded, if my tan is fresh, I feel like it kind of like almost oxidizes and just matches your skin tone. I have it in the shade medium and I just feel like it's so perfect for however my tan is. I just feel like it always matches and I can always blend it and make it look good. I'm gonna do just a tiny, that's rude, tiny bit of concealer under the eye. Let that sit for a second before I blend it in. Let me go ahead and tap. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> oh, hello sun, come back please. Thank you. <laughs> All right, just a little bit of extra coverage under the eyes. I've been using this translucent powder that I got in like a subscription box a really long time ago. I'm just using the last of it. So it's, I don't know if I would even recommend it because I don't know much about powders, but it works for me. Extraordinary Translucent Powder by Siate London. Mm. If I just take a brush, <laughs> tap it on the cheeks so I can put a little bronzer and it won't get patchy. And then under the eyes to set the concealer. And then I also take it on top of the eyelid so that when I put on eyeshadow, it's not patchy. And then a tiny bit on the forehead cause it's summer and we sweat. And that's that on that powder. Taking Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Deep Bronzer. On a fluffy brush, dip it in. Mm, a little bit on the cheeks. Very quick half ass contour. Just like that. Nothing crazy. 25. <laughs> oh God. Then I kind of like squeeze the brush and I go like really quickly on the sides of my nose. Then this palette that I'm using as a mirror, I'm just gonna take like a light brown shade and put it in the crease of my eyelid just to add like a little bit of dimension. Okay, I'm taking a flat brush just because I haven't done this in a while. I've usually been doing matte lately, but I'm gonna take a like brown shimmery shade and put it on the lid. Feeling like going a little bit darker today. Very subtle and simple, but it's something. I'm also gonna do a super quick blush because I just feel like it adds so much to my face. I never used to wear it, but now I love it. And I actually saw this TikTok recently where um, this guy was doing his makeup and he's like, you know, a lot of people put their blush right here on the cheekbone, but he put it up here and he did one side of his face here, one side of his face up, and it just made his face shape so pretty. So now I put my blush up here. It's supposed to like lift your face, you know what I mean? And then once I'm done with each side of my face with my blush, I like go really quickly over the nose. Why you ask? I don't know, I just do it. <laughs> 
quick little highlight. This is what happens when I say I'm gonna do a quick makeup. I'm like, let me just, ow, my bracelet just got stuck in my hair. Let me just, a little bit of this, a little bit of that on the nose, on the brow bones. All right, that was super quick, less than 10 minutes. Now we're gonna spray with my favorite Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I used to use the, I feel a piece of fuzz on my face. I used to use the Urban Decay one all the time, but this one's more affordable and I feel like it does the same thing, so. And it smells so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, it just feels refreshing. So nice. You ever be doing this with a palette and then whack yourself in the face? <laughs> Every time I do this, I just picture that happening. Curling my lashes with the Revlon Lash Curler. Love it. Then I go in with these little um, spoolie brushes that I had from when I had lash extensions. And I brush out my real lashes because I don't have them anymore. But I feel like it makes mascara go on really nicely now that like your lashes are like nice and brushed and separated and pretty. Prevents them from like getting so clumpy, you know? Those are from Amazon, by the way. Benji's now in the window blocking my sun. Okay, last step. I'm going to put on the Dime um, Volume Mascara. looks pretty good so this uh, mascara is amazing I've been using a lash serum for months that's why my lashes are so long but this mascara just makes them pop so much definitely really pretty and the lippy I put on is the wet and wild send nudes mega liquid catsuit lipstick so I just went ahead and got dressed for the day I decided to start bringing in a little bit of fall colors but today is actually gonna be like 85 degrees so I was like let me get in the last days of cute summer shorts I freaking love these shorts these were my staple all summer they're from abercrombie and fitch they're like the four inch length because i hate wearing shorts that are like so freaking short it just bothers me and these are really um nice and long in the back as well so if you like that vibe there you go my top is like a thicker kind of like a um sweatshirt material so like i said i thought it was like a good transition piece and the color is very fall so i don't know i think this outfit's really cute i don't know what shoes i'm gonna wear yet it's probably sneakers and then my earrings are like literally amazon hoops that come in like a pack of like small and big ones and that is that very simple so um, I'm gonna eat now I usually eat at like 11 30 12 ish but I got distracted doing some things this morning and so it is literally 1 56 in the afternoon and my stomach if you guys could hear right now it is like so hungry part of me wants to make the dinner now because I'm so looking forward to it but we're gonna save that for later I want to eat something quick and easy so that I can go get my errands done. Okay, even though it's the afternoon, I'm gonna make kind of like a breakfast meal, which is odd because breakfast is my least favorite meal of the day, but for some reason I'm craving it. I'm gonna do an egg white sandwich with avocado and turkey breast. I'm gonna heat this up in the skillet and then I'm gonna put some um, scallions and I'm gonna heat up these leftover potatoes that we have left and then probably a little bit of cheese on the sandwich as well, but that's what I'm gonna have. And voila, there you have it. Finished product. I took the potatoes and I put some sour cream and scallions on top. I also put some sour cream on my egg sandwich. I also realized we had some leftover pico de gallo in the fridge, so I put that in my eggs as well while it was cooking. Avocado, sour cream, scallions, the turkey's on the bottom. Mm, I'm ready. Okay, that sandwich was a little messy and it actually worked out because this is what I've been doing with the potatoes anyway, is I put them on a plate and then I put like scrambled egg on top with like sour cream and beans and I make it like kind of like a breakfast potato nacho. So I'm taking everything that fell out of the sandwich and I'm gonna use it as a topping and eat the potatoes like that. Reminds me of like Taco Bell's cheesy fiesta potatoes. Okay, so since I already dirtied the scissors to cut my other scallions, I'm going to prep these. They are starting to go bad, but I find when you keep them in the Tupperware, they last a little longer. So I literally just take the whole bunch and cut. It doesn't have to be perfect. I honestly just love scallions. I put them on literally everything. This is not a good piece. I put them on everything, so having them prepped like this is so helpful. 
Bailey, there you have it, prepped. Good to go. Okay. Guys, how crazy is it that it's already September? Do you remember when all this started? We are almost near Christmas time. I'm not complaining because this is my favorite time of year. Fall time, Halloween time, Zane and I's anniversary, Christmas time, I love it. And I'm definitely excited for it after seeing how this year has been going. But just wow, it's crazy how fast the whole year went. Like insane i'm not feeling the fall vibes yet because it's like literally still 80 85 degrees here so i'm i know like i saw you guys asking me like when i'm gonna decorate and stuff and probably not till like maybe the end of september i don't know i'm just not feeling i'm not feeling it yet it's it's got to be like chilly outside consistently you know i'm really excited though i love fall fall's my favorite season if you guys have been watching since my first video that was my first video was fall decor diys outfits that is so funny please don't go back and watch it but that's how my channel got started so fall has a special meaning in my heart wait that means that i'm coming up on five years of youtube wait i gotta look no yeah you guys i uploaded my first video on november 16th 2015 so november 16th of 2020 is gonna be my five year youtube anniversary that is insane definitely something to celebrate five years that's a good number. Anyways, we're gonna get some errands done. First thing on the list is I wanna get more elderberry gummy vitamins. I got them from TJ Maxx last time, so um, since I'm getting out of the house today anyway, I was like, let me just run there and grab them. I looked on Amazon, but I didn't see the exact brand, and I want the same one because they were so yummy. It's like my little treat every day to have my gummy vitamins. So yeah, let's do that first. TJ Maxx, here we come. Okay, so I came to a different TJ Maxx. You can't see anything. A different TJ Maxx than I usually go to because I want to go to Hobby Lobby also and it's just nearby this one It's like two minutes away But then also as I pulled in I slowly started to realize what else is around here and I got very excited So I might not go in there, but they've got a Raymore and Flanagan Discounted furniture center, which is cool But I feel like places like that you always get like hounded with people trying to sell you shit So I don't know about that. There's Michaels down there and then a shop right which I can get those um, Egg roll wraps that I've been wanting to get and then I realized over there There's a national wholesale liquidators, which I don't know if it's just a Long Island thing but if you guys grew up on Long Island you know National Wholesale Liquidators like I went there as a kid all the time and the one near me it closed down years and years and years ago and the fact that there's one right over there is like real exciting I don't know what I would expect because I haven't been since I was a kid but that's very intriguing also I'm excited about Michaels because I've been getting texts from them I'm like on their like emails and text list and they keep saying like how everything's on sale and da 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 so I'm like maybe I'll drip into Michaels and check it out but first TJ Maxx to get my elder bear vitamins <laughs> This would be awesome for avocados. $2.99. Look at all these containers for fridge and freezer containers. Egg holder. I like this actually. This and then the avocados can sit on top of it. <gasps> okay, sold. Why didn't I get a cart? Got some goods. Goods I was not expecting, but I'm excited. And I found my vitamins. So I got two of them. So now I'm stocked. These are so yummy. And they're only $7.99. Okay, so I decided to skip on Michaels and ShopRite for now because we have so much food at home and also a lot of fall decor at home. So I definitely want to like take everything out from last year, see what we have. And then I'll go to stores and if I want to get little things, but our apartment is only so big. So it's like, how much fall decor can I really buy? When we have a house, we'll be good. But I really don't need that much fall decor. And I remember last year buying a lot of stuff. So I'm going to save that for another day, but we are going to check out the National Wholesale Liquidators. Like, how can we not? I'm so excited. I think I might get a little disappointed because it's like things from when you were younger and now are just like different, like Club Penguin and Webkins. It's just not the same as when you were a kid, right? But we're gonna check it out. So let's go see what's, what, what's going on with the National Wholesale Liquidators. Is it still the same? Is it still cool? I like checking things out now that Zane and I live together and like we have our own place. It's just more fun to like go to stores because it's like you can get things for your house like fridge organizers like you know what I mean? I also want to go to flea markets too because I used to go to flea markets when I was a kid and now like being able to bring like home decor home would be so fun. Anyways, okay. Let's go check it out quick. Zane might be upset with me for going without him because he's always like, why? When are they gonna bring it back? What are they gonna do with it? But I'll check it out and then if it's cool, I'll bring him back. <laughs> 
Also, this totally used to be a Toys R Us, if you can tell by the colors on here. <laughs> oh, they have potting soil. Cool. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm in here right now. The nostalgia. So far, it looks like an odd lot or odd job lot. I never know what that store is called, but bigger and has clothes. Cheap clothes. Ooh. Check it out. How much? Where's the price? Oh, $15. Hoodies, $12.99. Plain. Plain shirt, pants. Oh my gosh, this is so fun right now. I love stores like this. They just have like everything. And it's all ch <gasps> furniture. Furniture, you guys, furniture. I don't know why I'm feeling a little confident vlogging in public today. I better tone it down by myself. I'm gonna get embarrassed soon. <laughs> Tables, anything good, a couch. Oh my gosh. Prices aren't that low on the furniture, I feel like. Cubicles down there. Ooh, rugs. Ooh, this might be cute for the hallway. I literally just ordered a rug for under our kitchen table. So if they had one that I liked cheap, that would be upsetting. Oh, 150? Oh, I paid like 100 for hours, I think. Floorboards? What? I wonder if my mom knows this is here. She used to love this store. Oh no, I somehow made it to the baby stuff. I can't believe this was here. And if my mom knew about it. That's me getting embarrassed. I can't believe this is here. And if my mom knew about it and didn't tell me, I'm gonna be very disappointed in her. Look, luggages. <gasps> Pet beds. Oh, they have so many places. I'm gonna get copyrighted. <gasps> cat stuff? Do they have cat stuff? They never have cat stuff in TJ Maxx. It's always all dogs. I always get disappointed in there. I'm gonna have to have a chat, TJ Maxx. I'm just kidding. Oh my god, 50 pounds of catnip for $2? <laughs> Home decor, okay. Mirrors, frames. <gasps> what is this? These are pretty frames, oh my god. How much? $8.99, it's like home goods price. This is just the same as when I was a kid, all these random little things. <gasps> so fun. You guys hear the song that's on? Certified free, seven days a week. Is this the clean version? What and gushy, there she is. <laughs> Isn't that Walmart's brand? <laughs> $2.99 though, not bad. I feel like some of their stuff is a little bit pricey. Oh no, this is $5, that's not bad. That one's $7.99, it's bigger. Cooling rack. Also, I thought this was really cool. It's like a glass container, but it's got two separate compartments. You can keep two different things in there. I thought that was cool. Super cheap blanket, $5.99. Not super soft, they feel kind of cheapy, but still $5 for a blanket, not bad. You know, this store reminds me of like a mixture of Amazon mixed with the dollar store. It's like, they have everything, but also mixed with a little bit of Home Goods and Walmart. Does that make sense? Amazon dollar store, Home Goods and Walmart. Mark. That's what this store is a baby of. Men's champion sweatpants for $9.99. Oh, yes, we did that. I walked around there for a long time and there was a lot of random things I could have bought for no reason, but I didn't, I held myself back. So I'll show you guys what I did get when we get home. My hair needs some dry shampoo desperately. Okay, anyways, on to the next destination. I haven't been minding my driving because I've been listening to podcasts. I love podcasts lately. I have them on when I'm doing everything. Look what I just came home to. You're gonna mow? Yeah. I'm so excited. My Sorry. Your AirPod holder? Yeah. Don't lose them. I mean, you just leave them in. Right yeah, you just leave them in. Oh, uh, yeah. Gonna do yeah, we need right to. Now. Oh, my freaking camera's gonna die. I'll show you when you come inside. Okay. okay, I wanted to show him what we got, but my camera's gonna die and whatever we're gonna bring it in Okay, I am back Zane is mowing the backyard and I'm just gonna show you really quick I just stopped at the grocery store on the way home to grab my halo top I ran out and I've been very sad without it So I got two vanilla bean halo tops and then I also got some egg roll wraps And I also got some wonton wraps, so I'm so happy. We're making some fun recipes. I'm excited how long do these last in the fridge? I'm curious if I would need to freeze them. Used by September 18th? That's so soon. What's this one? October. Wow, okay. I might freeze these because we have a lot of food to make this week and I definitely wanna film these recipes with you guys. So I'm gonna throw these in the freezer for now. We have so much freaking food, but I'm glad that I got those. Oh, and my halo top, gotta put that away. Before we get to show Zane that stuff, he just went through it trying to um, mow outside, but he got it all done. He like knocked down one of our tiki torches and then the lighter fluid fell down and then the weed whacker wasn't working. So he is now in the shower cleaning up after a long day. So we're gonna show him everything we got and I'll show you guys along with him in a little bit. But while he was doing that, I washed the dishes, cleaned up, I fed the cats. Bella is licking her chops, cleaning up from dinner. Good girl. <laughs> and tonight I'm really excited to try these. So 
We are gonna try these chimichangas. This is in the Skinny Taste Air Fryer cookbook. I love chimichangas, you guys, but I know how terrible they are for you because they're deep fried in oil. We have a local um, restaurant by us that does chimichangas and they are there to die for. That actually might be my Sunday meal. Maybe I'll have a chimichanga and french fries from there because it's so good. <laughs> but anyway, so I know these aren't gonna be as greasy and cheesy and delicious as those, but I think that this will serve a sort of craving. I don't know, I'm excited to try it out. It seems very simple. Everything is already pre-cooked, so you kind of just make a mixture and then fill the tortillas with it. So we have our prepped shredded chicken from the fridge right here. I'm gonna see how many ounces we have left. She does 12 ounces of chicken for four chimichangas, which I don't mind making four because like having leftovers will be good anyway. And then on the side, I'm gonna do just this easy Spanish rice side. Are you guys hanging out with me? I love you. So we're gonna get this prepped, just follow the directions on the back, and then we will put together the chimichangas. Okay, now that that is getting to a boil, we're gonna take out the food scale and we're going to put our chicken in a big bowl and then we're gonna mix it with some stuff. So, first of all, we wanna see how many ounces of chicken we got. I think that's definitely 12 ounces. Oh yes, we're gonna make it, ladies and gentlemen. 12 ounces of shredded chicken in the bowl, plus a little piece for me because I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything since, uh, what did I have for breakfast? Oh, that egg sandwich. Shredded chicken is so good. Now, her recipe calls for half of an orange. I don't have an orange, so we're gonna do all the rest of the ingredients and then if I feel like it needs a little more liquid, we'll use something else. Okay, into the chicken, we're doing one tablespoon of lime, oh, hello, one tablespoon of lime juice. And then we're also gonna do one large clove of garlic minced, so I'm gonna mince this real quick, be right back. Wow, hello, worst transition of 2020, okay. Garlic, it said one large, I did two cloves of garlic. You put how much garlic the heart wants, okay? Then we've got one teaspoon of cumin. We need to get more, we're almost out. We use cumin on a lot of things. That was a little bit less, we'll give a little bit of love, okay? And then a four ounce can of diced green chilies, so I'm gonna open this real quick. I have room for two twisted teas. I just best to make sure I eat nothing but protein for the rest of the night. You're putting chicken, so these are gonna be pretty high in protein, no? You said it on there, go look at the book. Well, our chicken is like high in protein. 12 ounces, so it'll be like three each. One chimichanga plus lettuce plus thing. 40 gra- Let's go, two twisted teas it is. And then you, sorry baby, you said you want what? So I can make it for you? The starburst in the rum. In the rum? Yeah, all right. Go in. All right, here's what it looks like. I have a feeling it's gonna definitely be missing that half of an orange, so I think maybe I'll do some more lime juice in here. What can you replace orange juice with? On the website Cora.com, they say, the most common substitutes for orange juice are lemon, lime, apple, oh, and okay. pineapple juice. Oh. <laughs> I don't just smell the rice in my glasses at all. Okay, so I'll put more. Like this. Huh? Probably how you had it, this girl. No, I didn't have it like that. Are you okay tonight? I'm really not. Don't do anything too serious, okay? <laughs> like, <laughs> like use a lawnmower and a weed packer. <laughs> okay, to replace the orange juice, we're gonna do some more lime. How much more, babe? The half of an orange. And one or two tablespoons. One, two. Just in case we need a little lemon juice, we'll do a little squirts and combine. Okay, I feel like that's better. It looks a little more moist. That's it? This is simple. Chicken, orange juice, lime juice, garlic, cumin, and chilies. Drained chilies. It's okay, we could use the extra moisture. I didn't drain them. I don't think they had liquid in them. Wow, look how perfect this was. Fit it right in the glass? Yeah, I didn't measure anything, but look at this fit. Nice. Wait, I was gonna give you a straw. Mm -hmm. It looks good, right, with the foam on top? Oh, I really love this, actually. It's really good. It's probably better than last time, because whenever you shake it, I feel like it's better. Mm. You guys, this Dang drink good. mix is... <laughs> this drink mix is a pink Starburst flavor. And I've come up with a signature cocktail for you. It's Alyssa's Pink Drink. Alyssa's Pink Drink, instead of Starbucks! So, And this is... You put Bacardi? Yep. I shot up Bacardi. Just silver Bacardi. Mmm. It is or really... It is really, really good. I'm ready to assemble. Okay, everyone, we are all set up. So we're gonna do, it says almost three quarters of a cup in each tortilla. And these are the ones that we're using, the Carb Balance Mission Tortillas. 
whole wheat. We love these, they are so good. Almost three quarters of a cup of filling and then two tablespoons of cheese and then you wrap it up like a burrito and put it in the air fryer and then flip it halfway. Okay, we'll do that when we get there. First of all, we're gonna mix some cheese because we don't really have enough of this one, I believe. So we're gonna mix it with a little bit of cheddar because that'll be good anyway. Okay, you guys, I did the chicken evenly. It ended up being a little bit more than three quarters of a cup. So I would say about a cup each it worked out to be because I ended up having another three fourths of a cup after I filled the four, if that makes sense. Anyways, then it was two tablespoons of cheese on each of them. Wrap them up, spray both sides with olive oil spray, and then they go in for seven to eight minutes, flipping halfway. So here we go. Oh, not toast, air fry. <laughs> Okay, while our chimichangas are finishing in the air fryer, I'm gonna show you guys and Zane what we got today. So, I recently was looking through my cookbooks that I have and I realized that Skinny Taste, I hate calling her Skinny Taste, Gina, we can call her by her name. I realized that she has a recipe for pumpkin bread, which I am so here for it, but we don't have a bread tin. So I got this at TJ Maxx, there you have that. Nice. So can you make banana bread even easier now? Then you can make it like an actual loaf of bread instead of like uh -huh. muffins. But I like the muffins. Same thing. One serving, yeah. Yep. And then I saw a fridge section with all these little things, and I was like, that is so cool. So I got an egg container. But no way. Hear me out, though. Because it's got such a flat top, it'll be great to stack things for avocados. And it takes up not a lot of space in the fridge. It'll That's pretty only, cool. It'll only take up a little section in the fridge, and we don't have to deal with like the styrofoam or whatever carton. That Yo, that's actually pretty cool. Cool, right? And then you're gonna be really happy about this. Cans? Guess what that's for. <laughs> yes. For your cans. I don't drink cans, but Zane loves them. Nice. So yeah, that'll be like nice that. and sleek, have its own space. And then I just got this, this one for like maybe like sour cream, like whatever we want to fit in here. So I got some fridge organizers, so that'll that's be pretty fun. Cool. I'm definitely excited about this. I knew you would be. You I got that for up? you. No, because I'm gonna organize the fridge properly. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know if you're gonna be sad about it, but I found a National Wholesale Liquidators. I saw your story. I was laughing at it because you said they were playing WAP. Yeah, WAP. 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 <laughs> so I walked through it. It was pretty fun. But I got a matching sweatpants. Thank God. I was gonna say, I'm like, please be mine because these look super dope. I think these are yours though, medium. Yeah, I think these are yours. Oh no, these are small. Oh, these are medium. Uh oh. Well, I know. They look a little small. They might you might need a large. But anyways, champion sweatpants for ten dollars. No, that's sick. They were nine ninety nine and I was like they're so cute. I'm gonna get myself they're men, so I was like I'll get myself a men's small and I was like I gotta get Zane a matching pair. That Thank would you. be cute. I love gray sweatpants too. And I like the little black and I feel like I need more sweatpants, especially with winter coming. Ten dollars. Like, New York winters are cold. I know. I wanna be comfy. And feel the inside of this. Still I know I felt it already. So soft. Oh yeah. So we have matching sweatpants. Thank you, I'm excited. And then I also got two really cool pastas. This is my mom's favorite. When she watches this video, she's gonna text me. What is it called? Fusilli? Fusilli. It's like spaghetti, but spiralized. Mm. It is so satisfying to eat, and I love it. So I grabbed that, because they don't have that really at like Lidl. Mm -hmm. You need to go to like a supermarket. And then this, I've never tried before, but it's like little mini pastas. It's called Macarna? Macarna? Macarena? Macarena. <laughs> One macarena. Macarena. Super macarena. <laughs> I don't know, this just seemed fun. We could use it maybe in a soup or, I don't know, I feel like- That would be a good soup pasta, I feel like. No, 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 like picture with just like butter, peas, garlic, and Parmesan cheese with like by the spoonful. That sounds satisfying. Me personally, if we're making a pasta like that, I like having some structure. You know, classic penne. Or like even this fusilli. Mm. Well, I like elbows by the spoonful, don't you? I feel like they don't fill me up as much. That's like all in your head. It's it's a, yeah, I know, it's placebo, but still. Our things are probably burning. All right. I'm just letting them crisp up a little bit more. Like I said, our air fryer just takes a little bit more than traditional air fryer since we have like the um, toaster type, but I'm just letting them get like a nice brown crust. It's getting there. And then I'm gonna top it with avocado, sour cream, and some leftover pico de gallo that I made the other day. I'm just gonna use half and half on each piece. Zane's not gonna have sour cream because it bothers his throat, but I'm gonna have all three. 
I'm excited. Also, I'm gonna top with some cilantro as well. I love that I put it in this mason jar. I just think it's so cute. Oh my god, my tan is so bad. I'm gonna get in the bath tonight. But um, when I open the fridge and see just this sitting in the fridge, it just looks so fresh and pretty, so. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys, I am so excited. I know the lighting in the living room is awful, but holy guacamole, this looks so good. I've just realized I was supposed to put like the toppings on the side because like a chimichanga, you're supposed to eat like handheld, not like an enchilada, so I kind of messed that part up, but that's okay. Just, so should I pick it up? I'm gonna pick it up and just eat it like a burrito. Is it really hot? Uh-huh. Should I wait? I got it. I got it? Okay, I got it. I think it's really yummy. Mm-hmm. What do we think? It's great, but nothing will compare to a deep fried chimichanga. <laughs> well, kind of just tastes like a burrito. Like, the one that we get locally has so much cheese. So if you use more cheese, maybe, mm -hmm. it would give it that feeling. It's also deep fried, though. Well, I think the shell came out good. Yeah. It's like really it, crunchy, yeah, right? I guess. Yeah, you're right. Wait, now you left your toppings on, and now I'm jealous. I should have just done that. I'm a fucking mess, man. Fuck me. Maybe. I know. Just let me be a mess. It's actually really good. What if we did like just a little bit of olive oil with a brush, like real olive oil instead of spray? Brushed it on and then did it in a pan. Yeah, that would be more like a grilled thing, no? Like a grilled burrito, I guess. Or if we did a light layer of olive oil in the bottom of a pan and then like pan fry them mm -hmm. rather than deep fry. I think either way is good. It's still good. Like anything in a tortilla, I'll take it. Definitely bomb. I'm thinking this Sunday I'll go to get the chimichanga and fries. That sounds good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we're gonna watch Selling Sunset. We started watching it yesterday and it's hilarious. The drama, I'm here for it. So funny. We love it. Okay, thoughts are, I think Zane agrees with me as well. I would have liked to add a little bit more cheese just because chimichangas are usually greasy and cheesy and like just the ones that we get locally are very cheesy. And I feel like the amount that we put on there, obviously it's Skinny Taste Recipe, it's supposed to be more healthy. I just feel like I could have used a little bit more because I didn't really taste it that much. But other than that, it was really delicious. Now I am having the best snack ever. If you guys don't know, you should know. Pumpkin cheesecake cookie in the microwave for 15 seconds. Nice and warm and soft, like a cake. Vanilla bean halo top right on the side. I've learned to not put it right on top because it actually gets so cold that it makes the cookie hard and cold when you put it right on top. So I do it on the side and then I take a little bit at a time when I eat it. Wow, this ice cream is so much easier to do when you actually let it defrost a little bit. I'm always so impatient and I sit here trying to dig it out. It's like if you just waited a few minutes, you could get it out easier. And that is it, folks. Oh, there's some light. Look at it. A little bit of Halo Top, some cookie. Ooh. I am watching a little bit of Rem Life. Oh, this video is actually really long. I'm going to take it into the bath once I'm done. I actually need to wake up early tomorrow morning and edit, so I need to get going soon. What time even is it? It is not that late. It's 11 o'clock. Where does the day go? Okay, I'll be back for a um, notification shout out. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I feel like it's only fair to give the notification shout out to this person because I talked about it in today's vlog already and I gotta go, I'm so tired, so this is perfect. So today's notification shout out goes to Alyssa Robinder. She said, notification squad, love you. My question is, when will you be decorating for fall? I feel like it's only fitting to give you credit since I talked about this before earlier, but um, like I said before, probably the end of September, beginning of October-ish. I just feel like I need to wait a little bit more. I don't know why. Maybe because I don't want it to come and go. You know what I mean? Like, Or also I feel like we just didn't really have much of a summer because of COVID, so I'm trying to hold off a little longer, I guess. But I love you so much, and thank you so much for your question. If anybody else would like a notification shout out, go ahead and comment down below, letting me know that you have my notifications turned on, and you might be in my next video. Don't forget to check out Dime Beauty down below. Again, use my code ROSE20 to get 20% off the entire site and an extra 20% off of the bundles. Their stuff sells quickly, so make sure you go check it out with the link in the description. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Bye.